Hello friends, welcome to this series on digital electronics. So now we are going to discuss conversion from octal to other number systems. So let us first start with octal to binary. Now in case of octal to binary, it is exactly opposite of binary to octal. So what we are going to consider, consider here, first an example, 645.32 to the base 8. So, while we were converting from binary to octal, we were grouping in 3 bits. Now, we are going to write each number in the form of 3 bits. So, let me first consider this integer path, 645. So, this I will write 3 bits for each. For 6, it is 1, 1, 0. Then for 4, 1, 0, 0. And for 5, 1, 0, 1. This is 5, 4, 6. Now I come to the fractional part. So that is 0 0.32 to the base 8. So for this, we will be writing 0, 1, 1. This is 3. And then 0, 1, 0. This is 2. So combined result will be 645.32 can be written as 1101001101.011010. So I have combined all these and this is the answer. So next I come to octal to decimal. Octal to decimal conversion because this is a positional weight system, so we are going to first draw positional weight table. Positional weight table is like this for octal number system, positional weights, and then I will write here. Suppose I want to write for three digits in integer part, like this, these, these will be the positional weights. And for fractional part, the positional weights will be like this. Ye aur aage bhi ja sakte hai, 8 to the power minus 4, minus 5. Depending upon the number of digits you have in the number. Kitne aapke paas digits hain. Suppose hum ek example consider karte hain. 362, 362 dot 4, 5, 1 to the base. Now I want to convert this to decimal. So we enter this in the table. Mein enter karte hai. 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, 1. Now we will write this 2 digit 8 to the power 0 positional weight plus 6 into 8 to the power 1 plus 3 into 8 to the power 2. Here 4 into 8 to the power minus 1 plus 5 into 8 to the power minus 2 plus 1 into 8 to the power minus 3. Agar in ko solve karte hain, so this one will be 192, this is 48, this is 2, then this is 0 0.5, this one is 0 0.0781, and this one is 0 0.0019. So if I add all these, if I add all these, 192 plus 48 plus 2 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.0781 plus 0 0.0019, 0 .0019, what I get is 242.58. To the base 10. So, this is how we are going to convert from octal to decimal. Now, I come to conversion from octal to hexadecimal number system. This is why we have three steps. We have to convert octal number. Convert octal number to binary. Next step is 
ना ये जो बाइनरी में आपने कन्वर्ट करना है यहां यू हैव टू राइट थ्री बिट फॉर ईच ऑक्टल डिजिट ईच ऑक्टल डिजिट नेक्स्ट इज सेकेंड स्टेप इज दैट वी हैव टू रीग्रुप वी हैव टू रीग्रुप दीज बिट्स इंटू फोर बिट ग्रुप इंटू फोर बिट ग्रुप सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप एंड द थर्ड स्टेप इज दैट रिप्लेस ईच फोर बिट ग्रुप so you have to replace each four group four bit group by its hexadecimal equivalent so these are the three steps that we have to follow ye aapko aur aasani se samajh mein aayegi agar hum ek example consider karte hain suppose kariye ki hamare paas ek octal number hai 326.45 this is the octal number that we have तो पहला स्टेप ये है कि हमें कन्वर्ट करना है फर्स्ट स्टेप इज कन्वर्ट टू बाइनरी बाय थ्री राइटिंग थ्री बिट्स फॉर ईच ऑक्टल डिजिट सो फॉर थ्री द बाइनरी इज जीरो वन वन फॉर टू द बाइनरी इज जीरो वन जीरो एंड फॉर सिक्स द बाइनरी इज वन वन जीरो सिमिलरली फॉर फोर आल्सो वी विल राइट बाइनरी दैट इज वन जीरो जीरो एंड फॉर फाइव इट इज वन जीरो वन सो नाउ आई विल राइट दिस नंबर इन अ कंबाइंड फॉर्म दैट इज थ्री टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन वन जीरो वन जीरो वन वन जीरो डॉट वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन so we have done first step now next is regroup into four so we will regroup them four bits four bits and now this one here four bits and since here there are two bits left so i am going to write two zeros here so these four bits now this is equivalent to what is 1101 equivalent to 1101 is equivalent to 14 sorry 13 so 13 is written as d then 0110 this is equivalent to 6 and this 1011 1001 this is 9 and 0100 this is 4 so finally we can write this as so this is my answer agar aapko aise aur examples chahiye to you can write so we can have a separate video on only solving such type of questions so thank you so much for watching